afternoon. It is, uh, as always, a great pleasure to have my colleague, my friend, Petra Kalevi, here uh, as we start the NATO summit, a summit that will um, further strengthen Ukraine's ties to uh, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and its path to, uh, to membership. We've done a lot of work in uh, recent weeks and recent months uh, on that, and I think you'll see a very strong package uh, from the summit uh, for Ukraine. Uh, more broadly, we've been working closely together to make sure that as things move forward, Ukraine has what it needs to stand strongly on its own feet, militarily, economically, democratically. And we're on a very good pathway to do just that. Ukraine's success as a strong, independent, successful country is the best possible rebuke to the aggression that continues to be committed by Putin and Russia against Ukraine, including just 24 hours ago, an attack on the largest children's hospital in Kyiv, a hospital that I visited uh, a couple of years ago when I was in Ukraine, visiting with children, uh, some of whom had been victims of the Russian aggression, um, others um, cancer patients, uh, suffering other illnesses, being treated at this remarkable facility. Uh, and it's particularly despicable that we would see this attack uh, on that hospital. But it just underscores the fact that the aggression continues. Our commitment, and not just our commitment, the commitment of dozens of countries around the world to Ukraine and to its defense, that continues. And our commitment to Ukraine's success as a strong country, uh, that continues and that will be manifested in very concrete ways over the next couple of days at the NATO summit. Thank you. It's always good to see you and uh, thank you for finding time. We are hours away from the beginning of the NATO summit and we are hours away from the heinous attack, mm -hmm. missile attack conducted by Russia on Ukraine, including the most important children's hospital in our country. Um, so I think that pretty much sets the agenda for our today's meeting. Um, this attack this attack on Ukraine's future, because children are our future, shall not remain unresponded. I'm looking forward to our discussion on how we can further strengthen Ukraine's defense capabilities. Thank you for what already has been done and your personal role in uh, rallying the world uh, to ensure deliveries of necessary equipment to Ukraine. I will not hide from the press that I will raise the point, bring up the point about uh, possible U.S. assistance in rebuilding and re-equipping this hospital because we need to relaunch it as soon as possible. These children who they need daily, daily support, daily assistance, surgeries, all the procedures and manipulation, they have, to, they have to continue. And finally on NATO, we seem to be set before a very, very important gathering of leaders. Uh, thank you for working diligently on covering, uh, on reaching some of very important agreements on air defense and uh, for the assistance that NATO will be providing to Ukraine. This is all essential. And I'm looking forward to continuation, to continuing our partnership and friendship and cooperation. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.